And now to a story about a disturbing video that literally targets Dana Lash, a frequent guest on The Kelly File and the author of the book, Hands Off My Gun. She's an outspoken Second Amendment defender who recently created an NRA video asking for the freedom to defend her family. I'm a mom, and just like millions of other women, that's why I own guns. We're responsible, we're law-abiding, and we're everything that makes America strong. I'm the National Rifle Association of America, and I'm freedom's safest place. Well, an anti-gun advocate who goes by the Twitter handle Pinhead then took that NRA video and ended, edited the ending. We're only going to show this to you one time, and we want to share a viewer warning that the following video is very graphic. Here it is. I'm a mom, and just like millions of other women, that's why I own guns. We're responsible, we're law-abiding, and we're everything that makes America strong. I'm the National Rifle Association of America, and I'm freedom's safest. Joining me now, Dana Lash, host of Dana on the Blaze TV. Dana, good to see you. That Thanks, is so Megan. disturbing. That, tell us how you found out about that. I was actually sitting at my son's baseball game uh, Sunday afternoon, and he had a doubleheader, and my, my phone started blowing up. I was getting all of these text messages from friends, and they said, you really need to look at Twitter right now. There's this video that's going around, and it's, it's really creepy. So I thought, all right. So I opened my Twitter app, and I looked, and I saw it retweeted into my mentions a ton of times. And, and this guy, this is an individual who has harassed me for a really long time. You know, and I just, you know, I, I, I try not to engage as much as possible, and I had just muted him. But other people were retweeting it into my mentions, which is how I saw it. You can't, and you can't the, ignore the, this. I mean, yeah, and we yeah, know yeah, who he is. Can't. He goes by Pinhead, which, you know, the aptly name, of course. But you know who he is. His name is uh, Tom. What's his last name? Um, Adelsbach. Yeah. So Tom. And so he's been he's been your sin in his in his mind is that you're a Second Amendment supporter. <sighs> Yes, I'm a woman and I'm a Second Amendment supporter. Apparently that's that's my sin because I, you know, I mean, heaven forbid that people, men or women, have the right to defend themselves. And the thing that really got me about this, Megan, and, and normally, because I've, I've let a lot of things slide before. I mean, I've, I've dealt with, you know, a lot as you have as well. And I, the thing that, that got me with this is that my oldest son, you know, he's, he's a teenager now and he's online and he has a Facebook account and he has, you know, he's on Instagram. And as much as I police his usage of the internet, I can't stop him from seeing everything, and I couldn't stop him from seeing this, and I couldn't stop his friends from showing it to him, and he was able to see it before we were able to say anything to him. This is just wrong, and the irony, I mean, the irony is so rich of this, of an anti-gun advocate putting a gun into a video right. and, and blowing a mother's head off <laughs> to try to make his point. I mean, this is what's so dis disheartening, discouraging about the stage of debate in this country today where we can't disagree with that. I mean, that ad, you didn't get hateful in it. You, you stood up for the rights in which you believe. This guy gets hateful in his response right. to your rights. Yes, and, and that is the biggest irony, and I'm so glad that you mentioned that, because it's always the people who hate guns and they don't want anyone else to be able to lawfully possess them that want you to die by a gun. You know, me wanting to be a law-abiding Second Amendment practitioner does not magically put a gun into the hand of anyone who does not want one. It does not magically arm criminals either. And that's the disconnect, and it is. It's incredibly disturbing the amount of harassment people receive just for expressing a different opinion. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I I, I don't personally I don't believe that this is satire but I also don't believe in hate speech either okay. I just think that the level of discourse in this country is frightening and I did go to the FBI because I do take things like this quite seriously simply because the behavior from this one individual it increased in intensity and frequency mm -hmm. and I thought that's I don't want to mess with this so for just you know legal purposes and my own safety I wanted to go ahead and make sure that I had a record of having reached out and you know talked to someone about this and, and so I, I did reach out to the FBI and they are assessing the situation. The ad has been pulled from Twitter. Is it off? I mean, you can never really get it off the internet, but is it, yeah. is it off and has there been any sort of an apology or anything by this person? No, no apology. Uh, doubled down on it. Uh, encouraged other threats because from this it inspired other people. There was a guy who said that he wanted to redact me up because I hide behind my guns, which I'm like, yes, that's the entire reason why I carry because I have men threatening to harm me and anybody else that's a law-abiding gun owner. Um, his his particular post 
in which he had published that video, Twitter did remove it. His account is still there. Uh, I have him blocked at this point, um, but he and other people are kind of reaching out. And, and I wanted to say this, too. I know that uh, someone from Mom's Demand had issued, uh, like, you know, they had said they condemned this to Huffington Post. Uh, they had spoken the to someone break. there, which, you know, which I appreciated. But here's the thing. Whenever there's an unspeakable tragedy, I you have go. these individuals. The Pesky hard breaks where the rude computer cuts you off no matter what's <laughs> happening. Let me let you finish your thought, Dana. Go ahead. Thanks, Megan. No, I, I was just going to say very quickly that uh, some of these anti-gun advocates and the groups in which they belong, they really need to watch their rhetoric because it's inciting actual threats, and I fear that it could one day incite violence against people who just want to be law-abiding Americans. Great to see you. Thank you, Megan. Thanks.